Hello everyone, it's Anita Foster, Public Information Officer with the American Red Cross. It's been just over two weeks since a deadly tornado outbreak hit in the North Texas community. And since then, we've talked to a lot of families who express concerns about not knowing that storms could actually happen in December or not really knowing if they selected the proper place to take cover in their home. So today, we wanted to come to you and bring you three tips on things that you can do now to prepare for the next storm. The first tip is to know where that interior room of your home is. You wanna look for an area that is the most interior part of your home. That could be a bathroom, it could be a hallway closet, it could be the hallway, uh, it might be a hot water closet, it could be the laundry room, maybe underneath your stairs. But you wanna look for the area that has as many walls in between you and the outside as possible. You also wanna make sure that you, your family, and your pets can all fit in that location. The second thing that you can do is go ahead and build out a disaster supply kit that will look similar to some of the items that you see here. It's important to have a flashlight, to have a radio with a lot of extra batteries. Uh, we even encourage you to think through what you're gonna do with your pets, make sure they've got some food, your babies, and also to actually think about your digital supplies. So we encourage you to keep a, a, a gallon Ziploc bag with your phone connectors, your chargers, things like that that can keep you connected to emergency emergency critical information. Sadly, we're only a couple of months away from severe storm season, which typically does start in the spring. So take some actions today. Talk to your family. Educate your children about staying safe in disasters. In the comment section below, we will list uh, links where you can find more information about making a kit, more information about being prepared and finding your safe room, and we actually have a video on building a digital disaster supply kit that we'll share with you as well. Take these steps now just in case we have storms in the spring and be safe everyone.